Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be seeing about the position properties in CSS. So before getting into the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified immediately. And also follow me on my Instagram page. So if you have any doubt or queries, you can drop me a message through Instagram as well. I'll be responding. So let's get into the video quickly. So, so I have a folder your position and my index.html and I have my style.css. I have linked this style.css to my index. You can see here. And then uh, the different types of position that we are going to learn. I am just commented it out. So we will look into it one by one. So let's consider a container and let us tell we have boxes of different color let's tell red as static copy paste paste okay and let's tell a relative let's tell absolute and then we have two more let me just comment it this for now so let's change the color to blue and green okay and let us style this container first so give dot container with the height of 600 pixel maybe you can define anything here not that it has to be 600 itself just for clear understanding purpose I am giving this width so 400 pixel and then I need a background color for this container so I will go with grey and what else I need a margin of 10 percentage from each side so I will take this so here you can see a container okay which is having static relative absolute let us style the box as well so box let me give the width as 100 pixel and height as 100 pixel and then you can see this but for each box let us design now so red I will give the background color red and for green In blue will say background color I copy this paste it copy this once again and paste it and I'll tell green so everything is changed to red let's change the color to blue and green okay so now you have red blue and green so so here the position for all the three is static so when you don't define a position the default position is static so that is what the first position that we are going to be static whether you define or no the default position it's going to be static what if you have defined it position relative okay this static is not gonna change from anywhere you cannot move to top bottom right or left okay you cannot move and it is not going to move give a bottom of 100 pixel You can see that bottom it didn't change anything so static is all about that that it is go not gonna be changed at all okay this is about static so let it be there so relative so a second blue thing is relative right so what I'll do is I'll give a bottom of or let me give a top of um, maybe 50 pixel so you can see it just moved from top 50 pixel and if I wanted to tell, let me tell left of 100 pixel, 
and you can see that it just moved to the left so if i want it to be in the right i just give right okay you can see it has moved this way from here it just moved towards the right 100 pixel you can see that the relative is acting according to the parent element okay it will move within the parent element okay so for green i have given the position absolute and let's go look into the output so nothing has happened but here if you give the top as 50 pixel or the bottom of 50 pixel let's see what actually it is doing okay so i've mentioned the same top bottom and you can see it has gone outside this container so what can you let me give instead of top to the bottom right okay so what are you trying to understand from this is that it is acting to the root element okay not with the parent element so absolute is behaving accordingly with the root element not with the parent element so it will behave from the root element so that is why here it is like this so let me comment to this right and you can see it is here but when i tell uh, it to um, right of 10 pixel you can see its behavior so it is behaving outside the container so whatever you give the top right bottom left it will behave outside the container so this is all about absolute and uh, let's see about fixed and sticky so for that we have not yet given this let me uncomment this copy paste it and then give this as fixed and i'll tell this as sticky let me give this as yellow and let's give this as orange okay so now let's see how the fixed is behaving so yellow background color i will give yellow and then here is a fixed and let us let us tell a top bottom 50 pixel okay and to understand this better what I'll do is I will add another div tag the height for this. You so if you notice here, the yellow is not moving. It's fixed, but yellow is not moving. Why? Because here we have not given the position yet. So automatically the position is considered to be a static, right? So let us give the position as fixed. And I have added a spacer here. You can see that I can scroll this. And okay, I have commented it out. It is in that position where it was initially there. So I started scrolling this. You can see that particular box. It's not at all moving. So I have scrolled till the end. It is in that fixed position itself. It is not moved. So the one good thing about this uh, fixed is that you can fix the height and width wherein in static you cannot do that so that is the diff only difference you have with fixed and static so let's see her last position which is sticky so here let me give orange and then i will tell this position as sticky okay and then i'll set the background color orange and let us see what is happening here first so here i have the orange sticky what you have to do is i've given the background color but just give a top of 100 pixel and then you come back and once you start moving okay once you start moving your scroll bar and you can see the action what sticky is doing so it will just keep scrolling until it reaches the container so after it reaches it just goes back so let me show once again so 
keep scrolling so it will just scroll down till the parent element and once it reaches the parent element it will just go back so here if you notice one more thing that this absolute is behaving differently wherein absolute has to behave within the root element but in this case it is behaving differently if you notice when i scroll up so once it hit the relative absolute is also moving so this is because absolute uh, if there is no position mentioned the relative absolute will act according to the root if it add any position where it is mentioned as relative then it will behave to the relative of that element so that is what is happening here this absolute is behaving relative to this element so when you scroll up you can see that even the absolute is behaving accordingly so that's it in this video if you have any doubt or suggestion do let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you guys in the next video